let people wear those. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Power Yoga. This looks like a pretty straightforward power class here today to me, child's pose. I'm thinking just a simple set sequence this morning. Tips of the big toes together. Separate your knees as wide as you comfortably can. Walk your hands out in front of you so the shoulder width apart. The simple set series is effective. That's why we do it a lot. So let's get a nice child's pose. <laughs> Come on. I, let me see the quality of your down dog and your child's pose. I've got like maybe a third of the room that are really in good quality child's pose right now, folks. Walk your hands out in front of you. Get a good grip. Let's get nice and active. Take a big inhale through the nose. Make the lungs as big and full as you can. Spread the ribs. Expansive. And like I'm gently pressing your hips back and towards your heels. Exhale into the earth. And I want you to get heavy. And just start to settle in. Do your yoga practice by settling into the breath. It's Learn to fall into the gap. There's a little gap at the bottom of the exhale and the top of the inhale. Use that space. Carry that space throughout your practice. Eyes on drishti, awareness on breath. That's the class, guys. Move with the flow of the class and your best postures. If you're doing child's pose, it's your best child's pose. If you're in standing pose, it's your best standing pose. If it's standing bow, it's your best standing bow. Come to a hands and knees position. Look into the front mirror. Exhale around your back and look into your navel like there's a string in the middle of the back and I'm lifting it up towards the ceiling. Engage your abs, look into the navel, inhale. You all know the drill. There's maybe two people in the room that aren't familiar with it. It's pretty simple. Six second inhale, open the chest, push the buttocks up. Exhale, long, slow flow. Slow down, Dina. So everybody, find that nice, long, slow flow here. Inhale, there it is right there. Use all the time. Coordinate the breath and the movement like you're singing a song together. Exhale. Repetitive, like there's a string in your middle back. That's where I want to start from. Engage your abs and feel the middle back round and squeeze them tightly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. More. Exhale. Fall into the gap, nothing moves. You're still indifferent. Let the breath return to normal. Look into the front mirror. Engage your core strength. I do that with you guys. Right arm forward, left leg back. I go, I go deep into that exhale gap with you guys. There's an indifference, right? That's, what it, that's a big part of this, as is compassion. <laughs> Definitely as is compassion. Engage your core. So I've got about half the room that is really caring about engaging the core. That looks good. Dana, you always look good also. Some of you need to just draw your abs and middle ribs in a little bit. I call it long and strong. You're lifting to lengthen. And I'm seeing that even some, from some of my regular students. I'm just reminding you to use your core bondas, right? And bring it out to the side. So I'm reminding you to use your core bondas there. Lifting into the posture. It should feel like it's heavy. This is a tricky yoga posture. The trick is lifting your body weight into gravity, and you've just got to be determined and do it because it's an awkward hold for everybody in the yoga room. And reach forward and back and square the hips and shoulders. Get long and strong. Then inhale up to a hard end feel. 
Go to your heart, stop, and then continue to work the posture with your breath. Every inhale, opening the body a little bit more. It's just easing the door open, not ripping it off of the hinges. And hands and knees looking in the front mirror. Don't bring the eyes to the floor. Left arm forward, right leg back. Try to keep that third eye drishti there. How'd you sneak in my room today? So draw the abs in the middle. This is really good. Beautiful. I want to see the quality of your yoga practice in these basic postures, folks. This is a class of basic postures. That's all it is. And open. The less you can do, the better. If I could make it more basic, I would. I'm going to say that again. The less you can do, the better. Your body takes its very best yoga class. Lift into the posture. So this is the point. You've just got to be determined, and everybody's feeling a little awkward here, so just lift into that feeling. I would be too. And reach forward and back. You guys are making it look easy, though, Sean. You've developed a nice yoga practice. Thank you again. Inhale up. Look up. Lift up. Mike's been here from the very beginning. Mike was some of our original support. Inhale into it. Lift into the posture. Lots of community support in this room right now. Lots and lots of it. And hands and knees position. Look into the front mirror. Please not at the floor. Tuck the toes and press back to down dog. Really nice. Get a good hand lock. And if you're unfamiliar to me in the room, I, I kind of get acquainted with you through process. Stretch the mat long. Reach your heels to the floor. Just your very best. Do your very best. Eat, eat, but really, truly, in each and every moment. This is your very best down dog right now. Receiving benefit from a very powerful restorative yoga posture, not just sitting in a posture waiting to do something else. So again, I've got about two-thirds of the room that has nice active down dogs. Some of you letting the weight come forward into the upper back and shoulders. So press it back like I'm taking you by your tailbone and pushing you back. Stretch your back long. Stretch your mat long. Pivot to a plank looking in the front of the yoga class. Front mirror if you can see yourself. Left hand to center. Left knee on the ground. Stack the joints nicely. Please look at the tip of the right thumb and rotate your right arm up high on the wall. Tip of the thumb, drishti. Got a well-trained yoga room here. Settle in, shweta. Spread your fingers. So we're creating space out of, the, out of joints here. Creating space everywhere, really. But right now, let's just talk about your wrist joints, your elbow joints, your shoulder joints. Lift through the right middle rib cage and feel the, out of the bottom left wrist and elbow and shoulder. Try to feel some space. And if you'd like to advance it, you can extend the posture. Tita. Reach your right arm forward. Beautiful. And beautiful and beautiful. Like you're flat on some. Here's where I really want to see your core bond is working. Drawing the abs and middle ribs and getting nice and high and long and strong on your wall right here. If you fall, you fall back. Try to lift into a sweet spot. And this is beautiful work, everybody in the room right now. Bring your foot down and hand up. Look back up to the tip of the thumb. Create that nice space out of both wrist joints. You're doing great. Spread your fingers. I'm going to train you really well. Rotate to a plank looking forward. Replace your left hand with your right. Bring your right knee on the ground. Look at the tip of the left thumb. And look up. It is how you think that is your yoga here, folks. It is not the posture you're practicing. But part of that thinking is technically, to the best of your ability and knowledge right now, this is your very best yoga posture. You're not saving yourself for a future posture for ease, whatever it is. The ease is in the practice. So engage your core. Some of you can flatten your back a little bit tighter onto the wall. Not you, Sean. You're looking real good today. And advance it. Fall back if you fall. It's always a good fall if I see somebody fall back. Not just because it's entertaining, because it can be, but it's also the correct fall. So lift into it. You can find a sweet spot here, but you've really got to be active. Kate, you've been practicing somewhere, because that looks really solid. Bring your foot down and hand up. I mean, that's just rock solid. Black belt practice. Tip of the thumb, Drishti Michael, fall back. Give me your best. And rotate to a plank. Nobody practices better than you around here. Engage your core looking forward. So again, affirm this is going to be your best today. First, for the first chaturanga of the day. Lower slowly, move forward. And just a little pause at chaturanga. Just a little pause here. Up dog, pull forward. Look all the way to the back of the yoga room. Close your mouth. Down dog, roll over the toes. Feet hip width. There's, nobody in the, there's not one person in the room that's feet should be closer than hip width here. I should be able to put two fists between everybody's feet. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people right away that that's not accurate for. So give your sacrum a little bit of space is what I'm asking you to do right now. Move the left foot to center, lock the right leg out and reach back just to, like a dog stretching just for a moment. And this is going to be a really short little stretch here, just like a dog would stretch down the right side of the body. If I, can I pull you back from your right ankle? 
and return the right foot to the left. Lock the left leg first and really care about lifting it up like a, like a telephone pole. Just locked out. Squeeze it one piece and stretch back. Rotate your hip down so the foot is flat to the ceiling for a lot of y'all as you lift the leg a little bit higher. The feeling here is the leg gets heavy. You lift the, it's again, you're lifting the heavy weight. Your leg is heavy. Lift the heavy weight. Lift and lengthen into it. Beautiful. And step up to the top of the mat. One big step, several small ones, I don't care. Stand hip width, hold your elbows. Uttanasana, soften the elbows up. Ragdoll pose. So again here, I'd like your feet to be hip width. It's kind of important through this integration series that we're doing that your sacrum has a little bit of space. And it's just easier to balance. I don't want you to have to struggle with stabilizer muscles. I just want you to release. Bend your knees a little more. Some of y'all can really bend your knees a little more. And if you need to support it, that's fine. If you've got low back stuff going on right now and this doesn't feel good for you, you just wouldn't even be doing it. Let the hands slip away from the elbows. So you've got to listen to your body, those of you working through stuff. Soften the knees up a little bit. I'm looking at quite a few round, tight backs right now. I'd like to see you soften your knees and get the back nice and soft and round. And on an inhale, begin your process of rounding up. Slow enough that you can feel each and every vertebra stack on top of the last. Don't hurry. It's important the upper back and the neck stack nicely. I would have my knees soft almost all the way to the top if I were doing this. When you are up, don't hurry. Right foot back to left, toes and heels together. Establish Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale the arms out, back and up over the head. Touch the palms, look up, stretch. Palms tight from the elbows. Swan dive, chin away from chest, eyes in the mirror. Flat back, find that flow we just had together. Play with the band. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's try to stay on the breath count, lengthen the spine. Step or jump back, lowering with the exhale. There's a pause at Chaturanga. Please don't hurry. There's lots of time here. Up dog, inhale, pull forward, look all the way back. Eyes open. Down dog, roll over the toes. Please, please, please. Eyes open is a bigger deal than the posture. I'm going to say that again. Your eyes open on drishti is a bigger deal than the posture. Me. Breath is number one. Drishti is number two. But this is your best version of downward facing dog. And this is beautiful. Look at that. Soften the knees, coil a spring. Look out ahead of you, all the way in the mirror if you can. Step, jump. If you float, lift the hips high at the last minute. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine, long, flat back. Exhale, take it into the forward fold. Come up, inhale, flat back. Body follows the eyes here. Look up. Everybody, palms tight. And swan dive, chin away from chest, flat back. Move with my flow today, please. Halfway lift, move with my flow. Look forward, flat in the back. Step or jump back and move smoothly to Chaturanga. Don't be in a curry. Up dog, inhale, look all the way back. Downward facing dog. I'm pushing the pace just a little bit there through the sequence. I want, it's an educated room, I want you to know why. It just kind of keeps you together in a multi-level room sometimes. So if you think it's a little fast, take your time fast. Just stay with the flow of the class. Just boom, boom. One more A series, let's see how it goes. Soften the knees, look out ahead of you. You guys set the flow, not me. Step, jump, lift the hips high. I want you to pretend like it's me, though. Halfway lift. Move with my flow, please. Deeper to forward fold. Inhale up. Just come right up with breath. Make it easy today. And swan dive. Flat back. Coordinate the exhale in the forward fold. Halfway lift. Listen to the breath in the room. Step or jump back, moving forward smoothly through the exhale. Always a pause at the bottom. I want you to feel your core. Up dog, inhale, pull forward, look back. Down dog, exhale, roll over the toes. Wow, that's a really well-trained yoga room, guys. <laughs> wow, wow, and wow. Let's have that same nice tight flow through our B-series, please. That means I want a nice deep chair. I'm going to say chair. Moving with flow, and there's a little space there where you can feel the posture, and let's just move through it. Soften the knees, coil a spring, look out ahead of you. Step, jump, or float between the hands. Halfway lift, forward bend, chair pose, and fold smoothly, exhale, halfway lift, 
Step or jump, lowering smoothly, slowing the pace down a little bit on exhale. Up dog, inhale, please stop at your elbows. Down dog, wait for me to tell you please, don't anticipate the down dog, sometimes I'll pause you there for a moment. Mama, that's you. Oh, <laughs> if there's a mistake about that, <laughs> that's you. Three-legged dog to warrior one. Inhale the right leg up. Lunge the right foot, drop the left heel. Inhale the warrior one. Mike, that's perfect yoga. Everything right there was just technically perfect. Right hip back, left hip forward. Lift your pubic bone to your navel. Makes it easy when the horse knows the way home. So tip of the thumb, drishti, unless I, so guys, I'm going to say the same thing. So I've got a lot of y'all looking in the front mirror, not over here so much, that should be looking at the outside knuckle of thumb, unless you have neck issues. And if you have neck issues, use the range you've got. Your drishti, the outside knuckle of thumb looking up, it's more important than the posture to me. They just have that nice drishti right now. Those of you that are coming a lot, we've got to get that drishti. If you have neck stuff, then you do the best you can, like you're doing. Warrior two. I'm it shows, guys. All the hard work in this room shows. Lock your back leg. Some of y'all just need to be bigger. If your knee's coming over your toes, Macklin, that's you, then make it bigger. There's nothing easy about a really, really nice, big, strong, athletic warrior two, guys. You're using big muscle groups supporting a solid posture. Take the space up. Why don't people like to make this posture big enough? Is it a mystery? Because it's challenging. You've got to really squeeze the legs. You've got to really feel that lift as you engage your core bondas. Turn your palms up and reach forward over the right leg. I, thought, I saw some nice corrections there. Thank you. Keep pulling back on the heels. Stay in the posture, folks. So stay in the burn by staying in the big muscle groups and stay in the big muscle groups by staying in the breath. Reverse your posture. I've never said that before. That's pretty good. Reach space down the right side of body. Wrap your right lat around your chest, making the middle back wide. Do no harm. You're just slipping a little bit. You can always take some off of that. That lateral pressure on your knee is not great. And cartwheel to a plank. Looking in the mirror, you're doing great. I'm just going to let you get acquainted. Lower slowly. Lots of time today. Slow way down here. I gave you so much time. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. When it's a really smoking hot room, which this is not right now. That, that's any little break you get, any little opportunity, use it. So I give you little, these little breaks. Just slow down and settle into them. Don't be in a big rush. Todd, you probably shouldn't do the left. You didn't do the right. Just hold that down, dog, huh? Inhale the left leg up. Lunge the left foot. Drop the right heel. Warrior one. Oh, yeah. So moving with the flow. As you're stepping into the posture, you're thinking about the foot position. As the arms are coming out, back, and up, you're drawing the abs and middle ribs in, and the arms are coming out. When I'm coming into warrior one, I'm thinking about my arms being locked out. So the palms are coming together tightly. And then a little tighter if you can get them. Squeeze the elbows, outside knuckle, thumb, drishti, bringing the biceps back with your ears. Right hip forward, left hip back. I'm really looking for good core bondas here, folks. Squeeze the head. Lengthen the arms. And let it feel good. Just exhale to warrior two. Boom. Mechanical. Exhale and open. Arms up, arms up, arms up, arms up. Lift. So space. More space. You're a black belt around here. You've got to practice like one. They can't be lazy. No one likes a lazy genius. You know that already, don't you? Squeeze the heels. Lock the back leg. So if it needs to be bigger, let it be bigger. Kelsey, you can be bigger today. So folks, I'm just looking at a room full of black belts here. A lot of y'all need to be bigger right now, and I'm not sure what the resistance is today, but I'm very patient. We could just do warrior one to warrior two all day long, maybe some abs between. Turn the palms up, reach forward, keep the squeeze. These are good holds. They look much better now, by the way. Keep the squeeze, keep pulling back on the heel. Stay in your breath to stay in the posture. Breath is your support. Big engaged muscle groups are your support. You can't rest or it's not healthy. And reverse, especially, you've got to keep that tight squeeze. Quadricep against the bone, the right, the left knee tracks over the toes, not bowing in. You've just got to make sure if you have tight hips, that's happening for you. Stay right there, beautiful and beautiful, everybody. You can give me a little more space. And cartwheel to a plank. We didn't hurry on the other side. Lower slowly, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. It's that simple, guys. Stretch your mat long. 
It's all about you getting present in your down dog right now, coming back to the breath, coming back to the drishti, coming back to your very best yoga posture, being present in your posture. I said it earlier, I'm going to say it again. Down dog is a powerful restorative yoga posture if you're practicing it right, folks. You can really create some nice space, open some energy channels. That's what it's about. Be serious, soften the knees, look out ahead of you. Let's float this time. Step, jump, lift hips and try to float. Last moment. Halfway lift, no judgment. Look forward, please. Exhale deeper, fold. Chair pose, move with the flow. Sit down, butt up, butt back, chest up. Let's settle into it a little bit here. Sit down a little bit deeper. Just sit down a little bit deeper. A low chair. What's a low chair? Low chairs, in some systems, it would be butt to the floor. I don't want you to break 90 degrees, but right down to a right angle here. Push your butt back behind you. Lift your chest up a little bit higher. These are beautiful postures, everybody. Very nice. Just settle in. Ease a little deeper. And fold, smooth exhale together. Halfway lift, get long. Step or jump back, lower slowly, smoothly. Good chaturangas, there's not ever a hurry. Hold it. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Warrior one to three, inhale the right leg up. Lunge the right foot, drop the left heel, warrior one. Lift and reach, warrior three pose. It, this is different every day you do it. You've got to start by knowing it's a heavy weight once again here that you're lifting. That is the trick again here. Lift the heavy weight. Lift to lengthen. First posture we did today, lift to lengthen. That's the same feeling you have here. Tip of the thumb, drishti. Balancing airplane pose. You're always lifting to airplane. There's a gaze change to the floor as you lift. We always, any way you're entering to Kastana, you're lifting into the posture. Open to half moon pose here today. You can do it. This is all we're doing. Just care about this. Lift to airplane. Everything but the hip. Like I said, we always lift to airplane. Look at the floor and stand up. Bring your left knee up into the chest, into the shoulder. Yeah, I know it was going to be simple set. I changed my mind. Bring the knee up nice and high. Lift the chest up. Take your right hand. Reach over the top of the left knee or foot. If you can grab the foot and lift the chest up so shoulders are square, do it. Otherwise, knee. Turn the head first. Turn the body so it's all the way open to the side of the room. And then look back at the tip of the thumb. We're going to start doing this posture more. This used to be bread and butter around here. So David, soften the knee and turn your head. So some of you are not listening to my dialogue. I want you to turn your head first. The body follows the eyes. And be patient. Get a good drishti. Be patient. So just don't worry about extending the leg. Just worry about turning the body and extending the arm and looking back. And this is your time to practice this posture. Today. If you fall out, pick it back up. Soften the knee to come out. Soften the knee and lift your chest into it. Pull against the shoulder to come out. Face. David, come out of the posture with control. Standing pose, please. Right hand on the right hip. Right leg locks. Pick up the left knee nice and high. Hook the big toe or interlace around the shin. We're plenty hot to do this right now, folks. Perfect. Foot lock, leg lock. Thank you. Core locks and extend the left heel forward to the front mirror. Balancing is different every day. I've been doing this stuff literally my whole life. Some days it's like I've never stood on one leg before. Other days it seems kind of much easier. It doesn't matter. Your work is your work. Use your drishti, lift into the posture, open when you're ready, and know where your range of motion is. We're not trying to go past your flexibility. We want to go to your flexibility and stand and stretch, but we're not trying to straighten the leg and pull the shoulder down. We're maintaining tadasana always. Gaze change if it's advanced. Get used to changing the gaze here if you want to do it in the other one. Gaze back, leg back, soften the knee so you don't pull the chest forward, please. Lock your left leg out parallel to the floor, both hands on the hips. Hold it, squeeze it, burn it. Hold it, squeeze it, burn it. Hinge it, lips, and fold, balancing airplane pose.
Warrior one. Just move with it. Warrior two, open. Too much thought, too much process. You know the way home. Warrior, just big. All I want is a big warrior two, but I want it right now. Big warrior two in this moment. Squeeze, get active. And cartwheel to a plank, eyes in the front mirror. We've got all that time. There's no hurry. Lower slowly. Move forward. Let's slow down a little bit. We've got another side to do. Inhale up, dog. Look back. Exhale down, dog. Roll back. That was so much fun. Let's do the other side. Inhale the left leg up. Excellent, guys. Just excellent. Lunge the left foot. Drop the right heel. Warrior one. Starting with warrior one. So get a nice, tight, long, strong warrior one here. Really engage your core. And warrior three. I like gaze in the mirror, not on the floor in warrior three. Laser pointer from index fingers to third eye. Kelsey's got a beautiful version of it happening here. Lift and lengthen. Now you have to continue to lift. Don't anticipate anything. This is warrior three right now. Lift into that. And we always lift to airplane. No back bend. I'd rather you have a back. Thank you. Nice correction, too. And open to half moon. That's just solid yoga, guys. Open high. Lift your leg. The leg's heavy for some of you. Lift the chest. Lift the leg. All the way onto the wall is where the sweet spot is. All the way onto the wall is where the sweet spot is. Lift to Dakasana, everything but the hip. Lift the leg, the chest, the arms. The gaze should not be moving. Let's get good airplanes, please. Hip down, lift the chest. Now look at the floor and stand up. Bring the right knee into the chest, into the shoulder. All the way up. Interlace the fingers around the shin. The gaze comes up last. Notice you have a Tadasta through the torso and maintain it. Take your left hand, reach over the top of the right knee or foot. Grab the outside knife edge of the foot. Turn the head. The body will want to follow. Open the body. Do that first. Turn the head, open the body, then extend. If you're good at it, experienced with it, it looks like you're throwing a ball. It's one motion. Turn the head, open the body, and boom. But it's three motions. I want you to get into your subconscious. And then you can just throw the ball. Lift into it. But for beginners, it's not all at the same time. Soften the knee to come back to center. Don't pull the shoulder down. Chest maintain Tadasana. Chest up. Standing pose. If you don't have any breath, you don't have any posture. And lots of benefit by just being still in this moment, letting prana move through the body. There's lots of benefit, folks. I want you to know why we do what we do, not just that we do it. Left hand on the left hip, left leg locks. Pick up the right knee nice and high. Hook the big toe or interlace around the shin two inches below the knee. Again, criteria is maintaining Tadasana through the torso. Active core as you bring the knee up. Extend the right heel forward to the front mirror. So if you're fully extended, bend the elbow and pull it up a little bit higher and stand and stretch. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> and bring it out to the side. You all have your game faces on is what I love. Third eye drishti, spirit is yoga, attitude is yoga, not asana. Lift into it. If your gaze is changing, make sure you continue to lift the chest and find a drishti. Maintain tadasana. Gaze back and leg back. Soften the knee a little bit as you come back, please. Lock the right leg out parallel to the floor. Both hands on the hips. Hold it, squeeze it, burn it. Pick it up, Michael. Burn it with your lower abs. Everybody, pick it up and lock it out. Give it a good burn for a moment. Squeeze the muscle against the bone and lift to airplane pose. That's all we're doing is come to balancing airplane. Make it a nice balancing airplane pose. Stay there. Please own the airplane. Foot lock. Foot lock. Warrior one. You have a moment to make a nice warrior one. Make your nice warrior one. Warrior two. Open big arms over the legs. And again, this is a moment to really feel your best posture, but I want you to feel it. What muscle groups do you feel it in? Squeeze the core. Engage your core bandhas. Make it big and beautiful. No bigger. No bigger. Nice. Squeeze the back leg. Always. Beautiful. Cartwheel. Do a plank, please. And lower. Moving forward. Exhale to Chaturanga together. Good Chaturangas. Fire your thighs. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Your best down dog, please. Don't rest by letting the weight come forward. That's not healthy for your body. And it's not a good down dog. I'd rather, so I would rather you take a knee than try to rest by letting the weight come forward. And you can feel it if you are. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like you, you don't know. You can feel it if you are. If you can't, then that's where your yoga is going to start is getting body aware of things like that is the truth. 
Just step into a triangle. Inhale the right leg up. Simple today. Lunge the right foot, left heel, 45. This should feel good. Lift, lengthen, rotate, open. So I don't, I'd give different dialogue if I had a lot of beginners in the class right now, folks. But you know what you're doing, so we want that nice flow, creatite flow. As you're locking the right leg, you're lifting, lengthening. Look at the tip of the thumb on the floor and follow it up. Bring your, left, bring your chin into your left shoulder as you lift through your left middle rib cage. High on the wall. Inhale. Lift up with inhale. And exhale. See if you can twist a little deeper into the posture. Stay in breath. Stay in posture. Please keep your chest lifted. Rotate the left hand down. Square the hips and shoulders first to the front of the yoga space. Lift the chest so the back is flat. Take the right ankle with the left hand. There is a little space right there. And look up, lift up. Look at the tip of the right thumb on the floor and follow it up. So I want you to get the drishti sooner, not later. That's when people fall out of the posture. They rotate open and look up and they don't have a drishti. I've been doing this 24 years, three, four, I don't know what it is. Mike, how long? You've been there the whole time, haven't you? Bring your chin into the shoulder. Mike has literally been involved in this since day one at the sanctuary. And rotate the right hand down. It was a big reason we existed in the first place. Move into balancing airplane pose. Lift into balancing airplane pose. Lift your leg, lift your chest. Open half moon. Airplane. Clean posture to clean posture. Rotate. Clean posture to clean posture. Really lift into this. Airplane. Warrior one. And turn it into a lunge. Bring the heel up and hip forward. Square the hips to the front of the yoga space. Lift your pubic bone to the navel. So feet hip width, as long as it can be with your hips square to the mirror. Lock your back left leg and bring the heel high over the ball of the foot. Draw your abs and middle ribs in as you, beautiful correction right there. So these, this is really nice today. Everybody looks good here. Bring the prayer to the heart, please. So nice settled base, really strong through core, through, le through left leg. Look over the right shoulder. Don't twist the hips. It's from the waist up. You know what we're doing. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. You guys know what you're doing here. There's not going to be a surprise at this point in class. Center of the hands to the heart. Everybody's doing a fabulous job with the sequence today. Thinking we're just going to stay here today. Put, tuck the shoulder and push a little harder and lift the chest a little bit higher. Keep a back leg bonded. Beautiful. So I'm looking at your feet and legs first. Lift the chest and stay strong and active. This is all we're doing today. Like the end of a Bikram class. Inhale, create space. See if you can go a little deeper. It's the last part of the hold. Tuck the shoulder under. Lift the chest to come back to center. I thought, I think that's why I talk fast. I think it's from the yoga room. I'm just realizing. Well, I'll be an auctioneer if this doesn't work out for us, okay? Inhale your hands up, hands on the floor, move down and forward, slow, smooth, chaturanga, folks. Look at yourself. Stay with me, stay with me. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. I'm going to encourage you to do the left side, what you did to the right, folks. Just do it. Inhale the left leg up, march up the mountain. Lunge the left foot, right heel, 45, straighten both legs as you lift, lengthen and get, get high and flat on the wall. Tuck your left shoulder under and really get that nice opening feeling through your right middle rib cage. Chin into the shoulder, spread your fingers. Some of you can reach a little bit lower. I'd ideally like to see a triangle between the left side of your torso, the left leg, and the left arm. And I want you to anchor your left hand down the way I teach this posture. I want you to get space out of your bottom left shoulder. So you're tucking it under, you're reaching up, you're pushing away. You've got this nice space. I can see Kelsey creating space out of her shoulder. Thank you, by the way. And rotate. Perfect. Perfect today. Square the hips and shoulders first. The stance will diminish significantly for some of you. Lift the chest so the back is flat. Take the left ankle with the right hand and reach straight up. Bring your chin into the left shoulder and tuck the right shoulder under. So just go for it. We're nice and hot. Inhales creating space. So you're going to lift your chest and reach. Reach, 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 reach. Reach up out of the bottom right arm. Tucking the shoulder under as you continue to reach straight up to the ceiling. Rotate the left hand down. Chest stays lifted. Move into balancing airplane pose. So these are boom, boom holds here, guys. Balancing airplane. If you did the other side, please try to do this side. Please try to do this side. Half moon. Boom, boom. 
Airplane, clean posture. That's your time. Rotate. Lift. Airplane, lift. Warrior one. Turn it into a lunge. Heel up, hip forward. Bond the back leg like you have no knee bond to the back leg. Lift your pubic bone to the navel. Sit down into it a little bit without bending the knee, letting the left knee come forward. So you lock the back leg and then sit down into it, letting the left knee come forward, not bending the knee. That's what I really want. Really squeeze it. Prayer to the heart. Look over the left shoulder. You're doing great. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Whoa. Lost your drishti. Do you need a drishti right now? You bet you do. Bring a heel up. Heel up. That's all right. That's all right. You're practicing really well. Lift your chest up and push up. Let's get you high on the wall, everybody. So you're opening onto the wall, and then I want you to try to get both shoulders on it and push up a little bit higher and lift the chest a little bit higher. And just stay in your breath for a moment. More space. Inhale for space. Exhale. Take it up. Lift the chest and sit into a low center of gravity. Sit into a low. Make a nice lunge. Bond to the back leg. Heel up. Inhale your hands up. Hands on the floor. Move down and forward to chaturanga together. Good chaturangas. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog, exhale. Soften the knees, coil of spring, look out ahead of you. Step, jump, or float between the hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Deeper forward bend, come up, inhale. A series, everybody just come up, I don't care how. I do, but not in this moment. Prayer to the heart. Y'all know I actually do care, right? Arms at your side, eyes in the mirror. But I'd rather have flow. I'd rather stay with flow. What are y'all acting like you know what you're going to do for? Okay, what are you going to do? Show me what you're going to do. Left hand reaches to the ceiling. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> right elbow on the right hip, palm faces up. Bring the right hand back behind you. Y'all know what you're going to do there. That's, that's, that's a good standing series, folks. We're done with that. Touch the knees together and open up your shoulders. Kick and reach. Big standing bow is what we're going to do. Probably two sets of it, but let's see how it goes. Let's get one good set. It's just such a solid kick, guys. The, the biggest thing that I, I, that I have to teach new students is just really how hard you're kicking. I really want you to kick as hard as you can without struggling and forcing, but you're making that big bow like you're in. So lift into that feeling. So you've got to go deeper. When that happens, you've got to go deeper. Lift your chest, lift the arms. That's it. Now kick and reach it. Stay with the kick. Stay with the kick. Stay with the kick. Please come out nicely. Drive your own car. Lift, 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 lift. Standing pose. I'm not going to save you there. Uh, no. Let's do the other side. Right hand reaches up. Guys, it's just excellent. Left elbow on the left hip. Bring the left hand back behind you. Pick up the ankle from the inside. Sean, you shut up ready to roll today. Thank you. Open your shoulders. Kick back. Reach forward. Lift. So right away there's a lift. I just watched three or four people kind of lean forward into it. I don't ever want you to get the feeling that you're dropping the chest or leaning. You're kicking and reaching the body open. You're making a big bow standing straight up, biggest back bend you can, and then drive. Let the body come forward as you lift the chest into the posture. Kicking so hard you can only fall forward. That is key to the solid standing bow. And keep the right shoulder in your chin. The dialogue is shoulder to chin, not chin to shoulder. So lift your arm up. Last part of the posture, go deeper. Lift into this, lift into this, lift into this. And reach for your base. Please sing the last note well. Reach for your base, knees together, best of your ability. Standing pose. I say we walk away from the table there. Dead body pose. I was going to do a couple more little things, but that's just nice. Dead body pose. But let's really settle into dead pose. I, I didn't say take a break and scratch that itch or adjust your costume. Not a big fan of drinking hot water in the hot yoga room. I'm not going to yell at anybody today by name. <laughs> you just want to settle in. Show up hydrated. It's a big deal. Any water you drink here isn't going to hydrate you during your class, so it's kind of a left side of the brain deal. It's a left side of the brain deal. A lot of you figured that out. Close your eyes for a moment. So you don't have to do anything. 
we have created this nice, solid, grounded energy in the yoga room right now. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. You already, that's the beauty of Kriya. You've already done it. You just did the work. So I'd just like you to innocently become aware of it. Just feel the energy in the room around you. You all wouldn't be here if you couldn't feel it. You wouldn't be here if you couldn't feel it. It's thick. And it's super grounding. It's very powerful. So identify it and then just notice that you're creating that. You're creating that. We're creating that. And there's a depth to it. Settle into that depth. A seated in the heart quality to it. Settling into that space. And this really should be effortless through habitual practice. Slowly open the eyes, find a drishti. Let's stay grounded and move with the body alone, here with the ears, do with the body. Inhale your arms over the head, flex your feet back, cross the thumbs. Dive for the toes, double pump, double exhale, forehead to the knees. Cobra series, lie down on your stomach, face yourself in the front mirror, spinal strengthening. Hands under the shoulders, arms closed, elbows high, make your cobra's tail. So really squeeze your legs together tightly, push the feet into the floor, exhale through the nose, inhale, pull up. Let's get active here. So these are big muscle groups working again here, supporting a strong yoga posture. We're right back into it. Warm it up, burn it out, stretch it out. This is the burning it out section of that, guys. So we're working hard here. Pull your elbows back. Bring the weight out of the hands. Squeeze your legs. Bring the weight out of the hands, please. And down slowly. Left ear on the ground. Look right. Heavy, surrendered. Eyes on drishti, awareness on breath. Let's move in and out smoothly, please. Chin flat on the floor. Hands under the shoulders. Bring the heels of the hands back to the hips. A version of Shalabhasana or Salabhasana. Lock your legs out. Inhale. Push the chest up. Lift your thighs up. Most of you know the posture, so we're not going to do that one quite yet. We're going to do that in a moment. Push with your triceps. Shoulders and elbows the same height. Just, you're doing so good today. Just get strong. This is your best version of a yoga practice. But lock your legs and make this your best version. Push up a little bit higher. Lift the legs higher. And down slowly. I just want pelvic girdle and hands on the floor. Right here on the ground, look left. Dead body pose. Chin flat on the floor. We want to keep moving here. Pick up the hips. Inertia. Keep it moving. Bring your arms under the body. Palms down. Elbows all the way into the body. Momentum. Relax the left leg. Lock the right leg. Pick up the locked right leg. So it's a total bond in the right leg. You're squeezing the muscle against the bone. Like I'm pulling you back by the right ankle out of your hip and out of your low back. And bring the right leg down. Relax the right leg, lock the left leg, and pick up the locked left leg. I'm going to be repetitive. It's a Bikram Banda. Like you have no left knee. Squeeze it tightly. Pull back out of the hip. And bring the left leg down. Bury the face in the towel like you're kissing the towel. Move the hands closer to the knees, elbows closer towards each other. So bury your face and move your hands closer to the knees, please. Squeeze your legs. Whole body's tight now. The back's tight. Inhale, push straight up. So I want your body to come up flat like a board, not in a big back bend, ideally. Really engaging your core bondas right now. Push, push, push. It's upper back strength. Push into it. Breathe into it. Stay in the breath to stay in your posture, folks. Legs up. Squeeze them tight. Lock them out. And down slow, controlled. Mike, beautiful. Michael also. Left ear on the ground. Look right.
chin flat on the floor. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, lock the arms out, lock the legs out. Bring your arms up high, squeeze the legs, inhale everything up. Squeeze your legs tightly. Act with the body alone. Action in inaction, in action, in action. Arms out to the side, lift into it. So lift higher, please. Everybody should be lifting higher there. And hands out in front of your shoulder with now you're really going to lift into the posture. Arms up, legs up, chest up, thighs up, 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 up. And down slowly. Right here on the ground, look left, dead body pose. Perfect. And settling right back in. It's just perfect today. Chin flat on the floor. Bend the knees. Bring your heels to the hips. Grab your feet, thumbs of the fingers, two inches below the toes. Try to press your low abdomen to the floor. You can do this one leg at a time also. If you've got stuff going on, I would recommend you probably do this one leg at a time. Just reach the other arm forward like a standing bow. Push your low abdomen into the floor and extend both legs up to the ceiling. So if you've got knee stuff going on or the flexibility is just not there today, I recommend you do this one leg at a time or do two sets almost always. Treat it like a standing bow, reaching forward, kicking back. So really get on the kick. Kick the weight forward. Look up, look up, look up. Bring the weight forward, please. Pelvic girdle up, weight in the belly. Kick it into the belly. Kick it into the belly, please. And down slowly. Left here on the ground, look right, dead body pose. Same thing, chin flat on the floor, bend the knees, heels to the hips. Grab your feet, moving with my dialogue or practicing dead body pose. Those are the two options in the class. Press the low abdomen into the floor, that's dead pose. <laughs> and kick straight up, that's a real dead pose. Kick it up, kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. So Bikram says kick back, but you're kicking back to kick the pelvic girdle up, to kick the hips up. Weight forward in the belly, so really drive in our second set. What can you do to go just a little bit deeper? Can you kick into the hands and pick them up and look up and look up and lift them up? And down slowly. Right here on the ground, look left. Roll over onto your back, please. Happy baby pose. Guys, you could not have done a better job with this class today than I just saw. Let's stay with it. Practice. Finish strongly. Reaffirm your practice. So everybody, reaffirm your practice here like you just came for the last few postures in the dead pose, please. And everybody in the room, this is 100%. That's what I want. Pull the knees down. We all get benefit from that, 100% from everybody thing that happens here. We all get benefit from it. Kick into it. If you're just feeling this in your thighs and hips, you can kick into it, kicking the energy into the earth. Not straightening the legs, pulling the knees down and kicking into it. And release the tension first from the posture. Stretch your legs out, arms at your side, palms up, eyes open, dead pose. I couldn't say that more mechanically, intentionally. That's what I want you to do. Eyes open, dead pose is all now. Macklin, you're doing a really good job. One more big back bend of your choice. You're with it. You're, you're listening to me. Let's do it. If you're doing the camel pose, do a sit up. If you're doing a wheel pose, slide your shoulders down the back. Georgia, how, when are you going to start teaching yoga? Huh? So tight bows, hips up, chest forward. Drive them tight. Guys, step your feet up a little closer, those of you in wheel. I've got, I'm looking at four or five of you that can walk it up tighter. Uh, don't be afraid to reach back. Some of you in camel, I'd really like to see you reach back in second set. That aren't your option, though. Hips forward, really hips, bow tension. And come back up, support your sacrum. Or walk it out. Dead body pose. Thank you for sitting back and releasing everybody. So just all kinds of little subtle stuff that's not really so little and subtle to me is happening today that I really like. I didn't have to tell you all and, and that we're in camel to sit back. Everybody had nice intentional hip release, uh, back releases. And now just settling into dead pose, talking to you. We're going to do that in just a minute, right? Just play with the band. Not solo time. Back release. That's all the time you had to wait. And hopefully dead body pose is a back release. I have been times in my life that it did not feel good to lie in dead body pose, to be honest with you. 
with different injuries that I've had, but if it does feel good, then we want that to be a nice back row. It's just heavy into the floor. It should for most of you, if not all of you. And don't be in a hurry with this, kind of like our integration series. We eased our way into it, ease your way out of it. We used to do a final stretching series, kind of tempted to do it, but we're not going to today. We come to shoulder stand pose. I stopped doing final stretching and power yoga many, 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 many years ago. It was just, everybody's getting, Mike remembers, we used to have a 90-minute class, in fact, set class with lots of stretching in it. And pe people were just so taxed <laughs> at the end of the 75 or so minutes. Come to plow pose, it was just too much. And I figured that's something you do on your own, so I am presuming you are doing, have a stretching routine. Stretching is not yoga. But it's important we really open up energy channels, keep things loose. And the more you do this, the more important it is you do the other. Stretch your quads. We don't do a lot of quad stretching around here. Roll them out, stretch them out. Big deal. Come down for twisted pose, major source of low back issues, tight quads, major, major source. Come to a seated twist position if you know you, that's what you, where you should be. Seated twist or on your back, bring the right knee up, interlace the fingers. Bring your right knee to the ground on the left side of the body. Looking over your right shoulder and reaching at about a 30 degree angle to the front mirror. So whatever variation you're doing right now, the twist, I want you to really feel it. It doesn't look like you're feeling very much there. Macklin, it doesn't look like you're feeling anything there to me. You feel that? <laughs> okay. So if you're not feeling it, we're not getting the benefit of the twist because you're going to feel it. If you're in a good twist, you're going to feel that you're in a good twist. So those of you that have your legs wrapped that aren't feeling it, i got two of you that look like you're not. I'd get up in seated position next time, not today. Keep our flow. Chris, reach to the front mirror like you're going to touch that water bottle. Can you touch that water bottle? All the way up. Bring, so bring your arm up higher. I don't want it that close to the floor. There, and reach. And relax a little bit into this. So I want you to relax here. Just let your arm drop. Relax all the tension, wherever that stretches. And come back to center position. And do the same thing on the other side. Did you feel the difference, how it opened? And bring the left knee up. And twist and seated. Seated twist, you know what you're doing. And bring it across. There. Does that feel different? Yeah, there you go. It should be in your QL a little bit more now. So we've got to get you doing these postures technically correct. It's just going to, if you're going to work this hard, get maximum benefit. That's really the reason why. You're working hard. Take some time in our final twist, like you're bringing water into a wash rag. Bring some inhale into the space into the body and ease a little deeper on exhale. Let's say that again, just like a wash rag. Inhale into it. Bring some space into it and go deeper, moving with the exhale. Back to center position. Stay with me here, please. Dead body pose. Dead body pose. Everybody. Let's keep it simple. What does the body look like in dead body pose? What does your body look like right now in dead body pose? What does the body look like in dead body pose? Just make that picture match. Let's start totally from the opposite end that I usually do. What does it feel like to practice dead body pose? What does the body feel like? Just the body. Make it all about body. What does the body feel like? What's the breath like? Settling into that space kind of naturally, hopefully. Just notice it without doing anything about it, that you are settling into that space very naturally. As you bring your awareness to breath. And sometimes even the breath will vanish here. What is the mind like in dead body pose?
This is the yoga. This is not fragile. To worship the wise enter into my own state of being. Bhagavad Gita. It's in the surrender. Namaste. Guys, that is as good as it gets around here. Thank you all very much. This is my yoga too. Just excellent.